For this experiment, you will need the following. 100 ml graduated cylinder, three E-flasks, 250 ml, and a thermometer. You will need a ring stand, a funnel support, three beakers, and three funnels. You will use a 50 ml burette. You will use the following solutions, 0.1 molar NaOH, 0.1 molar potassium nitrate, 0.1 molar sodium nitrate, and 0.2% of phenolphthalein. You will use a single pan balance and weighing paper to weigh out your sample. Label beakers with the three different solvents, distilled water, 0.1 molar sodium nitrate, and 0.1 molar potassium nitrate to be used to make saturated solutions of potassium acid tartrate, abbreviated KHTAR, and a common name is cream of tartar. Put a piece of weighing paper on the balance. Tear, add potassium acid tartrate until you have six grams of potassium acid tartrate. It is not critical that you weigh out six grams of potassium acid tartrate accurately or divide it carefully. Since solids should be left over when preparing a saturated solution, you will label three E-flask and three beakers as following. 0.1 molar potassium nitrate, 0.1 molar sodium nitrate, and water. Transfer one third of the portion to a weighing paper and add to flask labeled water. Now you have approximately two grams in each flask. Add to flask 150 ml of each solution. The graduation in the flask is adequate. You do not need a graduated cylinder. The solubility of a solute is dependent on temperature of the solvent and agitation or mixing of the solution. Check out chapter 4 in your textbook. Swirl the flask equally for 15 minutes. While the excess of potassium acid tartrate settles to the bottom of the flask, we will set up three funnels for filtration, collecting the filtrate into labeled beakers. Fold filter paper to put in funnel. Before filtering the solutions, take the temperature of the potassium acid tartrate and water solution. Repeat for the remaining two solutions and record the temperature. Do not wet the filter paper. Instead, use a little of the solution being filtered. So while pouring the solution to be filtered into the funnel, hold the paper in place and pour the solution carefully so as to not kick up the solid, which will slow the filtration process. Start with potassium acid tartrate and potassium nitrate solution. Repeat with water and sodium nitrate solution. While solutions are filtering, rinse out the empty flask to use for the titrations. Potassium tartrate and potassium nitrate and sodium nitrate are all safe to go down the sink. Next, the burette is set up using your standardized sodium hydroxide. Rinse burette three times with sodium hydroxide and fill and remove any air bubbles in the tip. Start with potassium nitrate for it contains common ion and it will be the least soluble. Measure out 250 ml samples. 
Add two to three drops of indicator phenolphthalein to each flask. Record initial volume reading of the burette. Start titrating until a faint pink endpoint is reached. Record the final burette reading. The second sample should take the same volume of sodium hydroxide. Record initial and final volume reading of the burette. Samples can be poured down the drain and rinsed flask with deionized water. You will repeat the procedures using two 50 milliliter samples of deionized water. Make sure to record the beginning and end points. Finally, you will repeat with two 50 milliliter samples of the sodium nitrate solution.